All right, today we are going to be doing the standard algorithm for long division. We are going to do 856 divided by six. I always draw a fact triangle. It helps me really visualize what I'm doing and to keep in mind the relationship between division and multiplication because if I am dividing this number up by six, I'm also saying that six times something will get me to 856. Now, this number cannot actually be divided equally by six. So if I had six friends and I had 856 pieces of candy and I was dividing them up, I would end up with some leftover that I can't share equally with my friends. Maybe four leftover and I have six friends. I can't all split it up. So I'm gonna have a remainder. And that just means that I can't divide it up equally, but I can get close. So six times something will get us close to 856, and then I'll have something left over. All right, we're using the standard algorithm, whoops, and that is D, M, S, B, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and I remember it as does McDonald's sell burgers? And we do one at a time, always dividing by six, because that's our divisor and always doing the step with the last thing we touched. So let's start, eight divided by six. So in other words, how many sixes can fit into eight? If you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, how many groups of six can you make? Well, just one, right? Because two groups of six would be 12 and we don't have 12 to work with, we have eight. The closest we can get is one group of six. So we'll put that one up here, and then we're gonna multiply using the last thing we touched. One times six. One times six is six. Now we're gonna subtract using the last thing we touched. Eight minus six is two. Now we're gonna bring down to the last place that we were writing. So we were working with the two, and we're gonna take the five and bring it down next to the last thing we touched, which is the two. So we will bring this five down, it's the next digit. And now we're working with this 25 right here. All right, this is the last thing we touched and we're gonna divide again. What are we dividing by? Always that six. 25 divided by six. So if I had 25, how many groups of six could I make? Or another way to think of this is to draw a fact triangle, it's a little faster. 25 divided by six. So. How many sixes can fit into 25? Six times what gets you close to 25? We won't hit it, but you can hit 24. Six times what gets you close? And something you can do is you can skip count your sixes. And if you go over 25, that's how you know to stop and not use it. So six times one, six times two, six times three, six times four gets us close to 25, meaning four sixes can fit into 25, or 25 divided by six is four. All right, so we'll put that number up here. And what's our next step? With the last thing we touched, we're gonna multiply it by what? Always that six. Four times six is 24. Now we subtract the last thing that we touched 25 minus 24 is one. What's the next step? Go ahead and look at that there. B, so we're gonna bring down, there's only one more thing to bring down. Can you see it? It's the six, and where are we gonna bring it? We're going to bring it down to the last thing we touched, which is that one. So bring it all the way down here. And now we're gonna do the next step, which is divide. What are we using? The last thing that we were working with. What are we dividing by? the six, 16 divided by six. So another fact triangle here, 16 divided by six, or in other words, six times what gets you close to 16, or how many times can you skip count your sixes until you hit under 16 without going over? Cool thing about this is if you've skip counted your sixes one time, you can just look back at that because we're using the six the whole time. So. 6, 12, 18, whoops, we went over. So 6 times 2 is the closest we can get to 16. 6 times 2 isn't 16, it's 12, but that's the closest we can get. But the 2 up here, because we had 16 divided by 6, is 2. And now we'll keep going, multiply. 2 times 6 is 12. 
subtract. 16 minus 12 is 4. Bring down. Oh, there's nothing to bring down. All right, can we divide? 4 divided by 6? No. And also, when there's nothing else to bring down, we know to stop, too. Um, so if I divided up my candy among my six friends, I have four left over, and now I have six friends looking at me, and I can't divide six equally. So I'm going to keep those four for myself, <laughs> but that's our remainder. It's left over. So our answer officially is 142 remainder 4. And here's what this means. If I divide up 856 divided by 6, each friend, I have 6 friends, would get 142. Or if I make 6 groups, each group would have 142 in it. However, I would have 4 left over. If you want to check this with multiplication, here's what you would do. You would say 6 times 142 will not equal 856 exactly. I'm going to come 4 short. I'm going to have 4 left over. So I'm saying 6 times 142 is 852. So 142 times 6 should equal 852. And then... I know that there are four left over that I'm going to add back in. Let's do that real quick and check our math. And notice that we're going to see the same multiplication problems here when we multiply as when we divide it because multiplication and division work together. So 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 1 6 plus 2 is 8. 852. So 6 times 142 is 852, plus 4 is 856. And that is long division with the standard algorithm.